Hey, hey, everybody. It's the Review Revolution back at you again with another Double Feature Friday. Congratulations, guys. It's been a long week. It's the weekend. It's here. You deserve it. You guys deserve it. It's been a long week. Um, and I'm here to hope you... Uh, Help you relax and and just get in the uh, get in the spirit of uh, of uh, of of uh, not being at work <laughs> or school or whatever uh, your your week consists of. Um, today we're going to take a look at the um, well, as it says, the exclusive six inch movie series Iron Man Mark Six, only at Walmart. Um, this this is a set of figures, a six inch uh, Iron Man, that I think uh, I think that uh, reviewers are kind of taking in turn. You know, everyone's taking their turn doing them, and uh, I really wanted to wait until I got the other figures that were in this uh, this release. Uh, you know, like the uh, the War Machine and the Mark One and. Uh, well, the uh, War Machine and the Mark One. I wanted to get those along with this, but um, disappointingly. From the time these figures reach my Walmarts, only the Mark VI has been in stock. I've been at the store when they're on the shelf. I've been there with the pegs are full. And I have not seen anything but the Mark VI. It's so disappointing. And a little frustrating, too. Uh, now the movie's out. The, the, the fad is dying. You know, it's, it's something where with uh, Toy Story 3 kind of taking over the end caps. I've got a bad feeling that it's... I may have to eBay the other two figures. Blah. Um, I'll keep my fingers crossed and keep checking, and hopefully, quietly, we may see, uh, or I may see, uh, the uh, the War Machine and Mark One get back on the shelves. But for now, we've got the Mark VI. Great-looking figure. Uh, based on the reviews that I've seen, just as awesome out of the pack as he is in. Uh, so we'll have to pop them open and take a look. But before we do, just a quick you know refresher in case anybody you know has forgotten. We've got the traditional uh, Iron Man 2 movie series uh, uh, card, top card, card top, whatever you want to whatever you want to call it. Uh, the Avengers Assemble logo, which is pretty much on all the merchandise. Uh, nothing else here. Are. One thing that I want to bring up, I, I, I want to mention it just because uh, I don't know if this is going to be consistent with all the uh, um, Walmart figure or um, uh, Hasbro figures, but there's a perforation on the side of the plastic, which I'm guessing may be there just to make it easier to get into, to, to basically open it up. But really, you know, if you're not careful, you can you can get yourself you can catch yourself on that. That's that's pretty fierce. So I don't know if anybody else has mentioned that, but I want to bring that up. You know, they, these these uh, these six inch figures, they've got some teeth on them. Uh, here's a picture of Tony, L- missile launching missile, launching missile. I get the, I guess that must be the launching missile. <laughs> uh, on the back it says Iron Man Mark VI, the ultimate upgrade to the Iron Man armor. Uh, the Mark VI is a, the is unstoppable and nearly indestructible. It's powered by the most advanced arc reactor yet, and packed with weapons undreamed by even the most brilliant military scientists. Wearing this armor, Tony Stark becomes one of the most powerful forces on the planet. So privatizing world peace wasn't enough. He had to become even even more. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we'll take a moment. We'll pop him out of the pack, get a look at the figure, and have some fun. So be right back. All right, well, Mark VI is on the scene, and this is a cool figure. It, it is really nice. Uh, very much like the NECA's uh, Jonah Hex figure, it really makes me want to go see the movie. I, I, want to see, I want to see Iron Man again. I want to see this armor in action. Uh, so, does great there. Uh, as far as a figure fair, it does have some problems. Uh, though it looks great, it's just a fantastic sculpt. Got great colors, very nice red, good, good gold. Uh, not really metallic, but certainly a high sheen. It makes it look very, very nice. A um, couple of the big issues I have, first is the shoulder pads. They're kind of on this hinge that kind of just snaps in. And, yeah, he almost popped out there. They, they don't quite want to stay in place. They do want to pop out on me. 
especially this one. This is very loose. Uh, also, though I, I tried to find the best one on the rack on the uh, peg that I could, uh, the legs there is some glue they got on there, and just in the mold, the way the figure came out of the mold, just looks really bad on the left leg. It's it's just it's really pretty 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 bad. <laughs> The, white, the right leg, same thing. You know, you can see a little bit deeper color up here, and there's some uh, application issues with the gold. And just where the where it came off the sprue, it's just yeah, it, it's 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 a little. Considering how nice the rest of the figure is, that really stands out. That's that's really you know lazy. I I, I have to say, uh, there are some paint application issues. There's some gold up here that kind of came through. Um, you know, the, the, the entire red on the back, not so hot. Again, the front of the figure, the part that you see in the, in, the, in the blister, oh yeah, it looks beautiful, awesome, and went on display, fantastic. When you look at the back, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll lower our standards. We'll lower our standards a little bit for that. Though the sculpting, now paint aside the sculpt, just like with the Marvel Select, good, good panels, you know, I love how the how the spine on the on the armor, you know, kind of goes into the uh, into the various uh, 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 ab abdomen uh, layers. It's very nice. Love the arc reactor with the two different blues. Very very nice. Good good interpretation of the mask. Uh, his articulation. He's on a ball pen hinge thingy. Uh, the arm does come out and twist. Double joint at the elbow, and twist on the hand, which, for anyone who's seen these reviews, you know, the hand comes out, and actually, yeah, one of three other hands you can swap out, one th of three sets. That's actually pretty cool. Um, his... his uh, upper torso. It is on kind of a peg, and it can twist a bit. There's n a little bit of a back and forth, not a whole lot. It's a little bit more than he did when I got him out of the box. But because when he moves, when you move him to the front, when you go forward, this piece right here, it just it seems to give him the impression that his chest is sticking out a little bit much. You know, just a little too much. This the the just the the dome shape on the front of his of his armor. I don't know. I'm I, I I'm sure that's movie accurate. And from the front, it doesn't really look that bad. But from the profile, it just looks like his chest is out a little too much. I I, I can't quite explain it. Uh, no twist at the waist. Just top of the torso. Uh, the leg comes out. Twists. Double joint at the knee and at the foot. Which, you know, when you look at the sculpting on the foot and across the figure, you know, all, all the, the sculpting on it is really beautiful. Uh, definitely a, a, a Iron Man for any Marvel fan. Movie fan. You know, any, anyone who likes Iron Man, this would be something that, even if, even if you're not a toy collector, if you were to have this figure, you know, people would understand why. It's, it's a really cool... Movie interpretation, definitely. Oh, and uh, because it was so prominently featured on the box, he does come with his gimmick, which is a missile launcher. Never use that. But um, this has been a look at the 6-inch Walmart exclusive movie line Iron Man Mark VI. Only one I was able to get so far. But uh, uh, cross your fingers for me. You know, if I get the others, I'll definitely do a review on them. For now, this is the Review Revolution saying rate, comment, subscribe, join the revolution, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.